Hi everyone! Today we're going to do a little video about how to travel with your dog. Mac has been traveling with us since he was around five months old. He's been going on long road trips and flying with us, so we thought we could provide a few helpful tips. Arguably two of the most important things you can do is introduce travel to your dog at an early age if possible, and also putting out their carrier several days or even weeks before you travel so they get comfortable in that space. For Mac, whenever we pull out his carrier, he's always very excited, he loves to go lay in it. We always put a, a blanket and um, a few of his toys in there as well, so he feels very comfortable when it comes to actually traveling in it. Next is the less fun bureaucratic stuff. So, depending on where you're traveling, you may need to get certain shots or paperwork for your dog in order to travel to your destination. So, for example, when we travel to the US, Max Canadian shots and paperwork works fine to drive or fly to the United States, but when we travel to Europe, we do need to take Max to the vet to fill out certain paperwork, and then we take that paperwork to our local food and animal inspection agency, where they'll stamp it, and then when we arrive in Europe, we have to show that paperwork to the border control. Usually you can find any information you need for traveling with your dog either with your local or your destination country's food and animal inspection agencies. Also, even if you don't need any paperwork from your vet, you may still consider talking to them for general advice, especially if you're worried about your dog getting stressed during travel. They can guide you towards potential medication or natural remedies to relieve your dog's anxiety if that's an avenue you wish to take. Next, you're going to want to make sure everything is good to go with the airline. So every airline is different, but most of them say you need to add your dog to your booking 48 hours, 72 hours before your actual flight. I like to do it immediately, so I book the tickets, then I call the airline. Usually they want you to call because um, they're going to tell you the regulations and how big your carrier needs to be depending on where you're flying. Um, so add the dog right away. It's a, it's a good idea, especially because most flights will only allow so many dogs per flight, so make sure you do that right away. For the actual day of travel, you usually can't check in online, so you want to give yourself extra time at the airport for the airline to check your dog's paperwork in person. Before heading to the airport, we also always take Mac on a nice long walk, so it's easier for him to settle down for the actual flight. We've heard that people will usually limit their dog's food intake for the day of, but we typically don't change too much in that regard. Luckily our airport has a dog relief area, so we always take Mac there right before boarding. Um, for longer flights, we also always try to book overnight flights to make it a bit more natural for Mac to sleep and also not use the bathroom during the entire duration of the flight. Once we finish checking in and going through security, we always have Mac on the leash walking around the airport just to burn that little bit of extra energy. On the flight, Mac always sleeps, especially if it's an overnight flight, he really doesn't move around much at all. I'll usually put my legs around his carrier just so he can smell me and he knows we're close by. Um, and we'll also open the top of the carrier from time to time to give him a few snuggles. Lastly, when you arrive at your destination, there will likely be some kind of checkpoint for the local authorities to double check your paperwork. And this usually goes very quickly. If you're traveling to Europe from a non-EU country, you also only need to do this once in the first EU country you enter. And that's really everything. We hope you guys have safe travels if you're flying with your dog, and we, we hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching this video, and yeah, safe travels for you and your, your dog.